Most people don't fail because they're lazy. They fail because their brain is trained to stay where it's comfortable. We wake up motivated, set big goals, and make plans. But a few days later, the same old habits pull us back. It's not lack of discipline, it's a mental pattern that keeps us stuck in survival mode instead of growth mod. E. What if you could reprogram your brain so that progress becomes automaty? So that your focus, habits, and motivation work together, even when you don't feel like it? That's exactly what this video is about, how to train your brain to automatically reach your goa. Not through fake motivation or hype, but through neuroscience, behavior design, and mindful repetition. Chapter 1, Why Your Brain Resists Change Your brain has one main job, to protect you. It doesn't care about your goals, it cares about safety and energy efficiency. So when you try something new, waking up early, starting a side hustle, hitting the gym, your brain feels three. Tend. It triggers self-doubt, procrastination, or distractions as a defense mechanism. That's why most people start strong but quickly be you. RN out. They're fighting their own brain instead of training it. The key is not to overpower your brain, but to rewire it gradually. You don't break old patterns by force. You replace them with stronger, more meaningful ones. Chapter 2, Psychological Leverage. While the environment shapes behavior, understanding how your brain processes loss and commitment reveals an even deeper layer of psychological power. Your brain has a fascinating glitch, it hates losing things twice as much as it loves gaining them. Imagine this, when you put $100 down for a goal, something interesting happens in your brain. Suddenly, not achieving that goal isn't just about missing out, it means losing your money. And your brain simply can't let that happen. Your brain also hates unfinished business. Scientists call this the Zygarnik effect, once you start something, your brain becomes obsessed with finishing it. Ever had a song stuck in your head? That's your brain looping it because it never heard the ending. We can actually use this to our advantage. Here's how. Create what I call open loops in your goals. Start a task, then deliberately take a short break. You'll notice your brain itching to get back to it. Now combine this with what I call commitment devices, systems that make it harder to fail than to succeed. Tell everyone about your goal, schedule future appointments, or pay in advance. These aren't just clever tricks, they're ways to leverage how your brain naturally works. The same glitches that usually hold you back can become your greatest allies.